Hello, Electro Jeweler Jordan here, and today we are going to build a speed filter using easy to get materials and tools that you probably already have, and perfect for these plating solutions. I'm going to be making the speed filter from these two nesting containers, and this is my electroplating beaker. The inner filter container should fit snugly into the outer container as this will hold the one micron filter material in place. The outer filter should fit in or sit neatly on top of the beaker, the spout will let displaced air to escape. I'm using one micron filter bag material. Now let's cut it into shape. A lot of you already use this for anode bags and it can be purchased for under $10 from Amazon or eBay. They can also be found in pet shops and hardware stores. The outer container is tapered. I trace the top opening and cut it out a few mm larger than the top opening. This extra material is important as it will seal the gap between the two containers, enabling the solution to flow through the one micron filter material without leaking. Hey, please like, subscribe, and say hi in the comments below. First, test the fit by placing the filter material on the inner container like this and slide the outer container over the inner container. It should be a snug fit. Trim if needed. Perfect fit. Now I'll cut the inner filter container. First, I'll drill a hole in the center and mark my hole with a divider. This groove will help guide your cutting. No divider? You can also go freehand. There are a lot of ways to cut the plastic. This way with a regular 2mm drill bit works really well and is super easy to get. I'm using my flex shaft and you could also use a drill. It cuts super fast and fairly neatly. If you have a Dremel or a micromotor that has a 2.3mm collet, you can use a diamond bit. It will cut very well, but go slowly or you'll get melted plastic on the bit. Clean the bit off like this. Drill a hole. Insert your 2mm bit and guide it along the groove. Clean off periodically. Too much pressure can break the bit, so be careful. Other size bits can be used, but for me, they're harder to control. Next step, cut out the bottom of the outer container. Using this line as a guide, I'll cut it so that there is just a narrow ledge for the filter material to rest on. The bottom is removed, but it's a little uneven. You don't have to do these next steps, but I'm going to file and clean with an X-Acto knife and then you can even use a reamer. It just makes for a nicer end product. Now let's fit everything together. The inner container upside down, filter on top, slide on the outer container, and we are good to go. Nice. Here's my nickel beaker. Notice that it needs a top up, but don't fill it up until after you filter. I have an anode cage, and instead of pulling it out and leaking anode gunk into my tank, I'm going to pour the nickel solution into another beaker and then rinse the cage and the tank out. If you're cleaning out a nickel beaker that needs a top up and see white crystals on the cage or anode, keep them. It's probably the brightener. Okay, I cleaned out the nickel beaker and if you're filtering your electroform beaker, it's the same process. And now for the main event. Position filter and now pour. And wow, so fast, so fast. There is still some solution in the filter, so rinse with distilled water until your solution is topped up. Electroformers, what are you going to do with all that junk? Remember, keep on plating and creating. Plating gunk.